Now, let me tell y'all this, you know. A lot of brothers is, is talking about these entertainers and a lot of brothers talking about Christian and Jesus would say, let me say this, man. You got to save yourself. I could, I could suggest to you, no matter what religion you confess, you ending up saving yourself. Because you got to accept that doctrine or whatever it is. Uh, and you got to start utilizing that doctrine in order to save yourself. Because basically, all the doctrines are talking about the same thing. Now people say, well, why y'all people so hard on the Christian religion? They call it a white man's religion. Because the white man in his early Bibles printed, and some of his movies, printed the image of God as being white. And you got people bowing down to a, a, a idol cross image. They idolize the cross. They even think that's what's going to save them. When, when uh, the movies on uh, ancient movies that they had about Dracula, they would put up their hands to Dracula thinking that's going to save them. Then Dracula started, the modern movies of Dracula, he started, nah, that don't mean nothing, throwing the cross down. Cross, you couldn't burn the cross in his forehead. You couldn't do nothing. Because those movies were uh, sublim subliminally suggesting, suggesting that the white man is both the devil and the white man is God too. You know. And it's still in the, in the minds of some people that God, Jesus is white and God is white. The money got white images on them, you know, and we know what money means today in today's society. If you don't have it, you are uh, uh, might be in poverty and, and starve to death, but you don't have enough sense to go and get some seeds and grow your own garden. Or, start, or get some chickens and start laying, let the chickens lay eggs. You know, you don't have enough sense for that. So, you know, we let the white man do the thinking for us, and he's going to do the saving for us. And so we just looking at him, and he's already told you he's the devil and he's God, right? What, what devil do? Double cross you. Deceive you, trick you. So, all you brothers that's in St. Louis, I mean, it's a way to fight back. You can't go through the justice system. What you do is you quit paying taxes, withhold your money, get in unity with each other. Weed out those uh, elements in your community that's bringing the community down and start building yourself back up. Keep your money within the family. And another thing, all those black, black organizations, you know, y'all fighting over who's going to be the leader of, of all this. The Nation of Islam don't want to get with the NAACP and you know at one time they probably did want to be together but now they they don't want to merge together and keep the money within those big organizations because if we could see if I could see all y'all join together then I know we got unity if I could see uh, all the churches join together with all the, the, the mosques and the, and the temples and all the uh, NAACP join up with the National uh, Network, Al Sharpton, 
Reverend Jesse Jackson join up, all with the uh, Minister Farrakhan, Mr. Farrakhan join up with with uh, the Moors, the Hebrew. You know, if all of them join up in a mix, look how much money we got going through those organizations that we can build our own with. If we want a black hospital, we can build a black hospital. If we want to save the black farms, we can save the black farms. Yeah. So, we got to get in unity. We got to start doing for self. Quit paying taxes. Take that money you pay taxes to. Do for self. If the, if the organizations ain't getting into unity with each other, keep the money in your pocket because they just giving it right back to the white man. They got to give it back to the white man to keep the gas and the lights. Pay their car note. Do that make sense? Black light out.